Welcome to yet another ham radio video. Today we will be building and testing a simple wire antenna that will get you on two bands. Stick around. Well, it's a beautiful Saturday morning here in the Kaneka National Forest. It's very humid, about 72 degrees. Uh, we had some rain here recently. Fortunately, you can't smell the wonderful smell of the pine forest after a rain. But we're going to take a look at an antenna I put together. And this is nothing out of the ordinary, but we learn things along the way. and. This channel is designed to be kind of a documentary coming along with me as I learn new things. I'm not coming from a place where I'm complaining, complaining. I'm not coming from a place where I'm proclaiming to be an expert. I haven't, you know, been ham for 40, 50 years. I'm not an engineer and all that stuff. But that doesn't mean we can't learn and experiment and have a lot of fun. So this is a simple wire antenna, very inexpensive to build, very simple parts that you can do at home. And it will get you on not one but two bands. So something I learned recently, it was just one of those things that you go, oh yeah, why didn't I think of that before? Because we all know about harmonics and how certain bands are, you know, harmonics of other bands. And usually I think of that in terms of interference and things like that but uh, what I failed to realize is that you can build either a dipole or a vertical like we're gonna do today for 40 meters that will also resonate on 15 now there is some discussion about the takeoff angles and the efficiency and whatnot of what it will be on 15 but we're gonna we're gonna build it and we're gonna try it today seems like a pretty decent day this might be a nice antenna for, you know, just a simple activation. Say you've got one tree or mast or attachment point, and either you're starting in the morning or later in the afternoon, and maybe you want to catch 40 early in the morning till it goes away, and then you could just go right to 15 meters. Or in the afternoon, kind of doing the opposite, maybe you work at 15 during the day sun starts to go down later in the day 40 picks up go right there well let's take a look at what we have and again this is simple uh, banana jack or banana adapter and just some wire so you are gonna need probably a you're gonna need a hundred feet if you're doing it the way I'm doing it if you're doing it like this and you're doing a simple dipole you just need about little under 70 feet so each leg of this would be in the neighborhood of 33 feet so I started at 33 feet 4 inches and I cut off right around 4 inches so this is insulated wire and it will change depending on what type of wire you use if you're using non insulated wire it will have to be longer and if you're installing it as a vertical the way I'm doing it I'm running two wires uh, to the negative or to the coax braid side and I'm going one in each direction I'm doing it uh, 180 degrees apart so let's get up in there and try it out all right well, let's see if you can see this I'm sure seeing the red wires a little easier um, you know this is just stuff I had laying around if I was building it to use regularly I would use different colors so take a look here both uh, this one the red one and the black one are to the black side of the adapter and then the red is just the vertical element going straight up so it is you know 30 some feet on each side so it does take a bit of room but you know in this case this is not a big deal um, we're off the road nobody comes back here so I'm not too worried about uh, safety issues and things like that and let's take a look at the meter so I'm right kind of where the general portion starts on the 40 meter band and 
Let's go to 15. And it drops down, uh, you know, basically in the voice portion of the 15 meter band. So it will work. I mean, you it's, it is kind of a compromise. It's not exactly a dead match for either voice or CW where you want to be, but it will definitely work. So let's try it out. CQ, CQ, this is Kilo Quebec 4, Delta Uniform X-ray, parks on the air. WD-4, Echo, Romeo, Mike. WD-4, Echo, Romeo, Mike, good morning. Uh, nice 5-9 here in the park of South Alabama. Um, I'm in two parks, uh, US 9912 and 4449. This is in the Conecuh National Forest, right on the Florida border, the Florida Alabama border. Over. Okay, well, I'm in Quitman, Georgia, in Valdosta, so you're not that far from me, I guess. Uh, but anyway, good luck with the parks on the air. Alright, we switched to 15, had a good match, just started calling CQ. I think we can handle a little. There we go, that helped. Go back. Cool. Well, we're making it up there on 15 meters. <clears throat> on the air, this is Kilo Quebec 4, Delta Uniform X ray. Hello, 15 meters. CQ parks on the air. This is Kilo Quebec 4, Delta Uniform X ray. Kilo November 4, Victor Alpha. Kilo November 4, Victor Alpha. Beautiful signal here today in South Alabama, 5-9 into the park. QSL, QSL, I got you between a 5-3 and a 5-5 here in Virginia right now. All right, very good. Glad, uh, thanks for hunting me today. Hope you have a great day. 7-3. 73. Testing, testing. Is the frequency in use? All right, this thing tuned up on six meters as well. So I'm gonna use the meter and see you know, how far off it is, but the, the radio tuned it. So this may be a, a three band antenna. All right, let's take a look at RBN. I'll see if I can get a, a better shot of this, but uh, take a look at 15, made it all the way down to Uruguay. Um, Central America up into uh, the northwest, west coast, and all the way to the east coast. So coast to coast on 15. I'll see if I can get rid of 15. Uh, there was 40 meters, still pretty good coverage. And the bonus of the day was uh, I made a contact on 6 meters. Let me switch over to my other map. So here's my map from Polo. So this is the actual logged 
map. The other map was RBN hits, so that was a little bit different, but yeah, not bad. I was I was very impressed with this. I'm glad I figured this out, or at least I discovered it. It's kind of like uh, Callum from uh, DX Commander. He's like, I didn't invent anything. I just discovered, you know, he discovers stuff people have been doing for a while or done before. So just a quick recap. Um, this is 26 gauge wire. This was just leftover stuff nobody was using. And so, and this isn't even the same. This is 14 gauge, this is a different type of wire. I think I may build, you know, a more permanent, more heavy duty one of these with some thicker wire gauge because when you go to a thicker wire gauge, you're gonna expand your bandwidth a little bit. And I don't have the data on that. I'll probably take a look at, if nothing else, for durability and, you know, you don't have to worry about power handling or whatever but uh, if I can broaden the uh, bandwidth just a little bit to bring some of the other bands um, into a little bit better SWR and like I said I was intending on 40 and 15 it definitely worked well for that I made several contacts on both of those bands and then just to kind of wonder what would happen what the heck tried six meters and that worked and I did make a contact on six meters he said I was sounded pretty good this guy up in Boston and he was impressed for a little station out in the woods uh, he, he said he gave me a pretty good signal report so thanks for coming along hope you enjoyed it uh, maybe you should try to build one like this uh, just one thing before I go you may say well why not you know an off-center dipole or, you know, the popular NFED halfway that's really popular for parks on the air. Well, that also is a 49 to 1 transformer, which, you know, you do have some losses there in a transformer. This is no transformer. Uh, that's, and it, so it's no losses and it's simple. And anybody probably has the stuff laying around to go make one of these and it may end up actually working better. Um, just depends what you want to do. It depends what bands you want to be on. But like I said, for a, it, it worked pretty well to go from 40 to 15 because by the time 40 was starting to fade, 15 was picking up. And obviously 20 is always the go-to for Parks on the Air. But again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments. You watched yet another ham radio video. This is JKQ4DUX73.